yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Oh, that was Rosie O'Donnell, right? In... Oh, in a movie? Yeah, hello, uh, jungle... What do you call it? Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. That was, uh... Tarzan, right? Oh, I never saw that. Oh, the, 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 the movie. animated one. Yeah. Sarah likes animated shows. Um, Ben, if you guys want to check out. Ben! <laughs> I just finished watching... Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Anyone else? Because <laughs> I'm five. Okay. Um, no, I love cartoons, good. animation. Yeah. It's, it's good. Yeah. You didn't watch it, mm -hmm. but Ben. Yeah. Ben. <laughs> okay, so the other day, there was a lot of action in Super League. We were going to watch Arsenal Funny Moments, so we're going to watch this, but we want to talk a little bit about what happened <sighs> at the Arsenal game the other day. Um, remember we had the video that came out last week said who's gonna win the Arsenal Tottenham game and you know was Alex Morgan gonna play who's gonna win a Alex Morgan didn't play we thought she was going to wishful thinking on our parts because um, I changed my mind yeah and some people thought she was gonna start I saw in the comment section they're like no. why didn't she start she didn't play it makes no sense somebody left a great comment saying she had not enough time to, after quarantine and everything okay so she Hi, didn't play you're new here but it was, and so it was 0-0 zero, zero going to halftime. Then, I, I thought it was going to be kind of close. Then, I forget what minute Jordan Nob scored first. And then, our girl, our girl Lisa, Lisa Evans, got the freaking hat trick. Three scores, three goals. It was amazing. <laughs> it was so good. I mean, you know. We Are you just, impressed? I'm so impressed. I was so happy for her, too. You know, because a lot of times, we, you know, we just did the Viv and Lisa uh, video. You know, Viv kind of, you know, Viv's one of the best in the world. So she gets a lot of glory. But for Lisa to say, no, I'm amazing. I'm going to score three goals. Look at me. You know what I mean? I think. Yes, I'm sure she planned it. So she did. She goes, I'm going to score 10 goals next time. But she got, you know, she scored three goals. She looked great. Um, and it was 4-0. And I'm so happy for her. She looked great. And, you know, she gets all the, she gets, she gets glory, too. You know. Well, I had an Arsenal dream the other night. Oh, you did? Okay, well, you tell me about your Arsenal so, dream. So, me and my brother, we were in our neighborhood where I grew up, you know, mm -hmm. childhood neighborhood. So, we were like playing soccer, mm -hmm. right? And then we know I noticed that like th two or three houses up, it was like three houses up, up the street, there was the Arsenal ladies. Um, they were playing soccer. They, they were just, just in your neighborhood. They were just practicing in the front yard of someone's yard. They're just kicking the ball back and forth. Mm. And I'm like, yo, that's like Viv and Lisa and Vanderdonk and like, you know, that's the whole bad. team. Yeah. Um, and so I said to my brother, I was like, all right, let's kick the ball back and mm. forth and make it look good. Let's try so, to impress them. Yeah, let's try to impress them. Let's show off a little bit. Um, so maybe they'll want to practice with us or you know, maybe we could just talk to them or something. Yeah. And so they like come over as we're playing and we're like all best friends. And it was great. Yeah. I, was, I remember, <laughs> I remember um, something about Viv's fingers. I don't know if she hurt them and I gave him a little kiss. <gasps> and then Lisa murdered me. Oh. No. <laughs> it was good. Because you kissed Viv's hand in your dream. I kissed her fingers, which is strange. That is a little strange. Um, not her hand, but her fingers. Oh my goodness. I don't Southern think I smelled them though. Oh dear. <laughs> it's getting weird. It's getting weird. So we saw <laughs> the um that game and then Lisa scored three and it was awesome. There was kind of a little moment. If I can find the moment uh, at the very end, Viv goes in to hug Lisa at the very end. It was a, such a sweet hug. It was just like a really I love you hug. You know? Um, it was probably that was a great goal. Yeah. I love that you scored. No, no, no. no. It was I at the hug. very end of the game after the whole game had ended. She's proud that she scored. Yeah, it was a cute hug. If I find the if I find the hug, I'll I'll insert it. But it was so cute. And we did the video. We just released the other video about the awesome interview that they had just done. And they people are really liking that interview. It was amazing that they're so connected. So the other thing that what happened was um, Chelsea played on Sunday. We missed the game. We were I was sleeping. I don't know why, but I, I was. I don't know why I was doing. Oh, I was working. But I watched I a little working. bit of it. But Chelsea lost Everton two to one. Oh my god. Yeah, and people, well, two things happened. They were wearing, apparently, it, they had a curse of the kit that they were wearing because this kit that they were wearing, <laughs> apparently, they always lose when they wear this kit. And they'll what? flash a picture. Is that, it the new kits? I don't know. It's pink. It's this one. Oh. Well, no wonder because I don't like that very much. <laughs> yeah. It's, so if I don't like it, it's <laughs> It's the curse of the kit. So they're saying that did not help. It's not the luck of the Irish. It's the curse of the kit. <laughs> the curse of the kit. But you know, 
some people think they're underperforming. People think Sam Kerr's underperforming. Some people think that they have a bunch of strikers, but they're not they're not scoring. So I don't know. I mean, their team is so stacked, but if you don't put all the pieces together, you're not gonna win. You know, that's a flabby pancake stack. Yeah, but I mean, I love I love Chelsea. I know. I, I think it's obviously I like Arsenal and Chelsea. I mean, I'm more of an Arsenal fan, but. Chelsea, I mean, they have Purnell now. They have Sam. They they just signed a couple, you know, so on paper, they should be winning every game, you yeah. know? Yeah. But it's just about putting those pieces together. Um, <laughs> yeah. But we are Arsenal fans, so... And, and Man United fans. We just were wrecked into Man United. Fans of everything. But we like we're the fans team. of fans. Yeah, we're fans of watching, you know. You know, I know sometimes when you're a Yankees fan, you, you're a Yankees fan until the day you die. We're footy fans. Yeah. Some people in, you know, Britain, they have such a legion. Loyalty. Loyalty. You know, people in the UK have such a loyalty to certain, these certain teams. You know, Sarah and I aren't quite like that. But, um, you know, Chelsea, I don't know, 2-1 to Everton. I was surprised when I heard about that. I was like, no, no. Okay, so we're going to we're gonna watch Arsenal Funny Moments. So Arsenal Funny Moments, we love them. Congrats, Lisa. We love you. You are killing it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> So we've just arrived in San Sebastian. Can't wait to train tomorrow. Woo! <laughs> Jill. <laughs> I love it. I'm oh, trying to change your taste of music. Is it working? Oh, I love the sound. I like the sound. <laughs> That's the best thing you don't know you're being recorded because you're really being yourself. This is so fun! Oh, I like this! Hey! Uh, like, not again. That's my favorite. Quarantine sucks. <laughs> Straight away. Must be. Okay. Did you get it right? Yeah. Quarantine sucks. Hey, yeah, you got, got it! it. Lug would you make made who? Huh. Lug would you make me made do? Who? Look what you made me do. That was good. Oh. That was good. Is that true? Yeah. Those are hard. <laughs> yeah. Those are okay. I can't see that. Brazilian. Brazilian wax. Brazilian wax. Brazilian wax. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, this filters are next level. I know. OMG. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Got him. I like that one. You can always tell Beth with the ponytail, though. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's aggressive. She whacked her into a different dimension. But <laughs> We blew it back from being too small, so just, we'll see. Oh, she nice. got it. She got it. How did we get roped into this? Oh my god. So fast, I can't even see Oh, that was Lee and Jordan. He's been a long time for this. <laughs> Uh, Leah. <laughs> so celebrations for tonight. We won't go on too long, as I say, with that FA Cup quarter final. I love that. Is that Boombox Kid? <gasps> OMG. That was like next That's level speaker. <laughs> oh my god. Jordan Nobbs was having some trouble turning her. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Leah is now. <laughs> she can't turn it on. <laughs> Could be bad. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> loser. <laughs> oh, what are they? Oh, 
my god, that's so weird. Oh my god, it freaks me out. Floppy nose, man. Uh, that is freaks me out. That freaks me out. Those are iconic. Okay, that's funny. Those, Sarah, tell me how freaking funny those were. It's okay, did you see what happened? Good. I forget who it was. They were running. They met up with their other teammates. Happened to run, meet up with their other teammates, and then they got them roped into running with them. I think it was Caitlin Ford. And then Jordan and Leo were driving by, watching them run. Yeah, that would be me driving, giving them the motivation, like, but not job. running with them. Oh my goodness! It's like keep it up. You're doing that great. Is so funny. You're doing great. And those <laughs> ones where you have to figure out what the um, the saying is. Those are tricky. Mm -hmm. I'm really bad. You did them really well. Those are tr those are hard. I'm good. I love when two different people with two different type of musics want to help. Like, make a baby. Make a baby. No, no. A so new music baby. Sarah never liked K-pop. Like Sarah and I, actually Sarah and I have known about K-pop for a long, long time because on Twitter a long time ago it was really big before it really, before BTS came out and stuff. I've always liked K-pop. I remember liking K-pop like when it first, when I first heard about it like 10 years ago um, because there was this one guy I liked who was singing K-pop who was from America, long story short, but Sarah never liked anything k-pop anything anything and then about two years ago i said sarah will you listen to bts and then she actually listened to it well it's not that i didn't like it i just didn't know it i just didn't but can you tell me that you genuinely like certain bts songs oh yeah i love like i love like the hip-hop sound yeah, yeah, yeah. i love it, it, it yeah. i'm on an eminem kick right now then we were watching something by exo and then sarah goes exo they're like the the sexual <laughs> They're the sexual BTS. They were like giving looks and moves yeah. and like... But you liked it, yeah? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And whoa. they were like shirts off. It was. Oh. What do you guys think? Anyway. Questions, comments down yeah. below. Please a hat trick. What do you guys think about Chelsea underperforming? Do you guys truly feel like Chelsea's underperforming? We don't necessarily think like they're gonna... They're Chelsea. They're gonna... It's gonna work out for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. But what do you guys think they about everything else? You got this. Questions, comments down below. Subscribe. What was that? Whoa, sexy. Mm, subscribe. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.